Hi everyone, so this is a quick video response for those who are interested in learning how to animate within Illustrator. So actually Illustrator is not actually good for animation because it doesn't have these tools that help to the animators get the job done but it's possible but you also need Photoshop for this so let's get to it so normally since these are animations you have to have many frames right so we can do that by going to Illustrator and creating new artboards but this time instead of one right here we can actually put many frames or layers I mean artboards for our animation so I'll just put eight right here and I'll just choose the arrangement to the third option right here we can have a spacing right here and just a default size right here 200 pixels will work and then press OK and then you have your frames or artboards right here and what you can do now is let's just make a simple animation for a ball bounce let's just create a simple circle right here for a ball and then what you're gonna do is you should copy this one and make the next artboard active and you do that by pressing the artboard like so and then paste in place which is control F and then we can add a quick anticipation right here so this can get squashed a bit and then copy it again and go to the third frame and then we can actually sorry can actually launch it so as you can see this is what will happen when it, it's when it will become animated so it will squash first for anticipation and then launch and then we can copy it again move it up and add some stretch to it to fake motion then copy it again paste it here then just copy it paste it right here and this can be the topmost part of the jump then we can move it back down and then we can just copy frames like so so then if this would be a looped animation the next frame would be this one so it would actually be seamless so now if we want to animate or preview the animation for this illustrator doesn't have a tool for that actually so we're just gonna go to file export and let's just name this ball animation or ball frame rather make sure to use artboards because if you don't check this toggle right here it will just export a really big image right here so just be sure to use artboards and then just press save blah 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 and then type or art and then choose type anything we'll do for right now and then there you go okay so here's our exported frames and illustrator names them in sequence so you have frame 1 here frame 2 and so on you can actually test the animation just by going and pressing the image right here and just using the arrow keys on your keyboard like so but then if you want a GIF or we want to preview this how it will animate you have to use another tool sadly you need this one to make this animated GIF or an animated sequence so wh what I'm gonna do now is I'll just jump in right back to Photoshop and here are some workflows that I've discovered recently so I'll just share this to you guys so instead of file and importing those images you just go to scripts and then load files into stocks what will happen then is if you import a sequence of animation it will put each layer on a separate I mean it will put each frame on a separate layer which is really convenient so just click browse so here's the folder just select it all and then open so the naming's right right here so just press ok and Photoshop will actually do its magic for you and as you can see it's imported the layer now this one's the most important part right here the timeline panel 
So now that we have the layers right here, you see it's both frame 1 to 8. You can create the animation frame here. So just you can create a video timeline which is really cumbersome for me. So I'll just create go to the old school way which is create frame animation. So just click right here. And then we can just go to here, select them all. I'll just move this out right here so we can see all the layers. Just select them all. So click on one and then press shift. And then on the tab settings right here of the timeline panel, you can just make frames from layers. So what will happen is each of this layer will be one frame of the animation right here. So just click on it. And there you go. So what happens is Photoshop hides other hides the other layers except the frame that you want so right here on this frame frame 8 is only visible frame 2 it's this one frame 3 it's this one and so on but as you can see Photoshop did a reverse import and it actually does this every time so my frame 1 right here is on frame 8 as you can see it's named ball frame 1 so it should be frame 1 right but in the timeline panel right here it's actually frame 8 normally if you would play it it will actually look good so it's too fast right now so just select on the frames right here click on this drop down arrow right here and put a 0.1 second delay and we can just test it out again by pressing this button or space on your keyboard as you can see or you can also change from a one loop animation to a forever animation and then play again and as you can see since we've made the first and last frame seamless the animation can look forever also okay so j let's just stop that so what I so back to our problem so we can see that the frame is inverted right so frame 8 is on frame 1 so what we can do then is select on these layers right here and here's a quick tip you can just reverse frames very convenient okay so frame 1 now is the frame 1 image frame 2 is the frame 2 image frame 3 and so on you get the idea and then we can just play it again like so so this is how you preview your animation that was created or the frames that was created in Illustrator and as you can see it's a really tedious process but it gets the work done and that's why I re don't recommend Illustrator for animation but you can create or prep up your artwork to be animation friendly for other softwares so let's just stop right here and then we can go about and save this one into an animated GIF so that you can share it to your friends and or to your client to show it for a sample test animation you can just go to file save for web so be sure to on the preset right here select GIF and then you can choose the looping options to be forever like so or just once normally I like it forever and then just save so we can just name it ball animation and then it will be a GIF and there you go so let's just check it out just go to the export folder right here and then we can just preview it by going to a browser like this one and then just drop it like so and there you have it so we've created the animation frames in Illustrator exported it out and imported it back to Photoshop and created the GIF sequence from it and that's how you go about creating your animations from Illustrator and Photoshop and I hope you've learned something in the video thanks for watching